Greetings from the past, my fellow time travelers, and welcome back to another episode of The Boogeyman. My name is Ty, and our wife left us behind in a room, and let's see what we can find in here. Uh huh. The bed looks cool, I guess. Nothing here. Glasses, whiskey. It's down here. A bathroom, okay. So, we're in the castle right now, and... Mm-hmm, okay. The Grundlers. Can't enter there. David Hoover, Shirley Weber. They didn't get the same name? Okay. Lance? It says storeroom. It says kitchen. It says brewery. Okay. This castle is huge. A landscape painting. Okay. I just want to look around. That's the re. Are we in the entryway again? Yeah. Okay, dokey. So we went around in a circle. Why not? Then let's see what's in the library. It's a strange it is suddenly so quiet. Books, books, a few books. Books again. Ooh! The history of the castle. What? He brought a. Huh? Why are you skipping? What are you doing? Killed him to what? Oh, what a surprise! Hi. So this is where you were. Sorry for wandering in here. Oh no, no, I don't mind. You do. It's a large study, isn't it? I used to play hide and seek in here as a kid, and my dad always told me off. So many piles of old, precious books too. Unfortunately, I don't really know how much they're worth. A lot, I guess. Is that book about the history of the castle? Ah, you've been doing some reading. A very disturbing history, isn't it? Kinda, yeah. The former lord of the castle was quite a tyrant. He severely taxed the islanders. He persecuted anyone who rebelled. There are many odd rooms in this castle, actually. I'm sure they were used for punishment. Eh, but you'll be toured through them tomorrow, so... You said you managed this place yourself. Must be hard. Well, only as of late. I went to film school, actually, and did some work in Hollywood. Ooh. It wasn't too long ago I returned here. After my parents' death, I inherited the property, you see. Yes, it's a hard job to do alone, especially with all those strange rooms. So I thought I'd promote this place as a tourist destination. I'm not too interested in the castle myself. I'd hate to live out the rest of my days in a deserted place like this. This tour is kind of a test drive, you might say. And CB has been a great help with everything. Okay, Don't sounds interesting. Worry. I'm sure it'll be a hit soon. Oh, I do hope you're right. And I wonder what rooms there are Say, in this castle. Mr. Baring, you're a detective, right? That's so neat. I love police dramas, and I watch Law and Order all the time. <laughs> I don't think you can compare TV shows with your real life job, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, but it's not a pretty job. Well, in the eyes of an ordinary citizen who blends into the crowd, I think it's swell. <laughs> I'm jealous. Wanna switch? Oh, I'm jealous oh. that you own a castle. Must attract a lot of girls. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I wish it would. I'd love to meet a wonderful woman like you have. Well, if you'll excuse me. Bye bye. And he has a wonderful woman, and he doesn't pressure her. Grr. Wait. Hey, David, you going to eat your banya cowda? Bless you. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe you can have it. Why don't you want it? It's delicious. He won't eat it because he hates anchovies. <laughs> really? That's why? That's so cute. I I mean, it, it smells so raw. <laughs> and hey, don't call me cute, okay? Cool would be fine. <laughs> yeah, well, Sophie had a crush on him back in the Sandman game, so... I guess there is still something there. Who Jeez, knows? Jeez, Helena's laughing too? Cause it's cute, right, Shirley? If we're talking cute, I think that would be you, Missy. <laughs> yeah, 
This is his phone again. Yeah. Pardon me. You can have the rest of it. Now you're going to you answer them? Anymore? What? No. Why now? Uh, you're a strange guy. Gosh, Mr. Keith never smiles. What's got him in a tizzy? He's always that way. Huh. What is he, a robot? <laughs> a robot detective? So he's robo Ow! <laughs> Don't be rude. <laughs> oh, come on, Shirley! Ah, uh, Robocop. I remember going to see that with my wife back in college. He may be that way now, but he used to be very funny, you know. He was always making me laugh. I told him he should consider being a comedian. What? This guy? Keith? That really? doesn't sound right. I don't believe it. Yes, yeah, Sophie! <laughs> wow. Not a comedian or not, he's still the laughing stock of some magazines. You know about yes. that, don't you, miss? <clears throat> what? No, oh, come on. He's a douchebag. Keith, jeez, man, why don't you answer your call? I've been trying all day. What do you need? What do you do with the profiling info for the investigation? It's on your desk. Wow, what? It's not there. It's not. It's nowhere. It's completely and totally. Oh, there it is. Is that what you call 20 times over? He's an idiot. I called because you went on vacation without saying a word to me. Tell me before you hand this stuff over. Wow. I mean, why in the world would you take a vacation in a hellish time like this? And please, answer your call. How many times do I have to tell you? Frankly, you should just clean up your desk. Hell, mine too. Papers are going to topple over. They'll start attracting flies. Man, I don't wanna. You do it, Keith. If you don't have it cleaned up once I'm back, I'll burn it all. <gasps> oh, there he goes again. Quick to threaten, aren't we, Keithy? Keithy? That's not right. <laughs> Sorry, I'll clean up. You better. So what's the situation over there? Ah, well, you see... Ah, hey! Huh? Hey, how's it going? Having a good trip? No. <laughs> Hi, Hand Dick. it back to Eric. I don't need you right now. Harsh, harsh. You don't need Eric, neither. All right. Now, just hang up and enjoy your trip. At least tell me the situation over there. Situation, eh? Got no obligation to tell anyone who's not on the crime scene. Come on, Dick. You gonna ignore your honey again? What? You wanna try and investigate this over the phone? Man. Boy, what's the point of giving you a vacation anyway? I can sleep when I'm dead. Don't say that too loud, please. We're playing a horror game. I'm just saying, don't stick your neck into this. Plus, Eric's always relied on you too much. Now's the time to whip him into shape. Oh, okay. Now, don't call again. Got it? I ain't gonna tell you nothing. Well, <laughs> go to hell. Same to you. So long. Don't say stuff like that. Can I leave the grounds? No. <laughs> that would be so strange. Okay, that's there. Wait! Huh? Wasn't there a way to enter it through here too? Oh! Okay, I need to get used to this place. That one piece looks really good on you. I'm glad I bought it for you. <laughs> this one's my favorite. Since you picked it out, of course. Oh. That's sweet. So I said I wanted to see Robocop, but my wife said she wanted to see Platoon. And we fought and fought. In the end, Robocop won, but things were a bit stormy after that. Aww. I know how that goes. Shirley and I never want to see the same movies. A lot of the time we come to the theater together, but then go our separate ways. What the heck? That's not right for well, some reason. Did you take some good pictures? Yeah, they're decent. You'll show us more tomorrow, yeah? Is there anywhere that's off limits? I haven't really asked Brendan about that. I'll check with him tomorrow. Huh. 
One last cup. Cheers. Before I, I guess we need to go to our wife. At least that's what I think we need to do. But since I've triggered something for exploring the castle, I'm doing that now. So. Da -da 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 -da. Locked. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Looks like a study or some sort. I'm so going to be sitting here drinking with someone a uh, cup of coffee and yeah. Ooh, poker. Oh my god. I know what this is, but I don't know <laughs> the English translation. Well, you'll never know. A piano! Again. Okay. Is this some kind of theater? Hmm. So, well. I saw everything, I guess. So, we're going back to our room. And, yeah. Oh, is she crying? Oh, no. Keith, you took your call? Yeah. Oh, sweetie. Sorry for, for going back without you. I wanted to take a sh shower. Uh, uh, I'm going to bed now. Good night. Why were you crying? No. Sit down. I want to talk for a bit. Divorce. I wanted to tell you this once we got back from this trip, but it's too hard for me. Yeah. We're at a very important crossroads. A kind of D-Day. D-Day? For a decision, oh God. I guess. For a divorce. I've been thinking about it for a long time, but I couldn't say it. I knew it. Want a divorce? Yeah, sure she wants to. If you keep ignoring her, I would be like this. Do you hate me? Ah. No, that's not it. No, I couldn't hate you. It's not that. It's not you. It's a problem with me. With you? What? No. Come on, girl. What now? Is she, are you pregnant or what? I'm going to bed. We'll finish this conversation when we get home. Good night. I love you. Yeah, I guess she l really loves him, but... It's also taking a toll on her because he is just... Overworking I told all you, the time. Just get some juicy tidbits. Sales will shoot up for you, my man. No, oh, shut up. I mean, if I guess he loves her as much as she does love him, but he's not showing it, and maybe she thinks he doesn't love her anymore. But I guess the game is going to show us anyway what happens. So, well, I'm looking forward to that. Jeez, didn't I tell you? I can't take photos of people. You can keep your money if you want pics of that rude-ass detective. Wow. Oh, yeah, his, his girl's all right. Oh, yeah, she's a good one. Gotta wonder why she's with a snooze fest like him. <laughs> Not a Duh. bad idea. Oh, I'd love to see him keep his cool even when his girl's taken. <clears throat> taken by what, actually? Do you want to do her or what? Asshole. We're going to tour the island tomorrow, right? I can't wait. That's <laughs> right, but you'd better get to bed soon so you can wake up tomorrow, yes? By the way, in the sample, and I've never noticed that she's that young. I mean, I thought she would be between 16 or and 20 or something like that. But I guess that's just my stupidity. I mean, she didn't look dead young in the first couple of pictures and also she didn't act too kid-like and childish so 
I mean, I thought she would be in an age where it's okay to have a crush on David, you know? What are you saying, Papa? You gotta enjoy both days and nights on vacation, right? We should talk lots. Oh. Why, we already spoke with the others plenty today, and I'm sure they're all going to sleep now. Hmm, but I didn't talk to you much, Papa. Come on, let's talk. <laughs> That's my selfish little girl. <laughs> hey, Papa, was Mama a good person? Did you and Mama get along like David and Shirley? Oh, absolutely. I've never met a person finer than your mother. You're starting to remind me of her yourself, though you'd need to be a bit more mature. No. So I can't be childish, huh? Now, Sophie, you can be whatever you want to be. No matter what, you're a precious family to me, a true treasure, and your mother as well, of course. No. So sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Got a text from Paul. Bring back souvenirs, you ass. What's wrong? Doesn't sure. Helena remind you of your mother? Which Maybe so. There's kind of that air about her now that you mention it. But what's this all of a sudden? Never mind, I just had a thought. You don't look so good. Did something happen? Well, I've never been on a trip like this before. I don't know how I should act. It's different from traveling with friends, isn't it? Now that Shirley mentioned it, I think that Helena is dressed like his mother too. I think she wore a pink blouse or something like that and a yellow whitish skirt. At least at a photo where, well, David and her... Um, yeah. They were together in the picture, let's just say that. If you didn't saw the crookman, I don't want to spoil anything. And also she had this wavy brown whitish hair. It would fit. Hey, just enjoy yourself. You won't have any fun worrying over everything. We'll make some great memories. What about your memories with me? We could always use more. I wonder how many more we need. Why don't we start now? Oh, look at the time. Better get to sleep. Hey, what about making memories? <laughs> hey, David! Stop it! I'm tickling! Give me a break. Like, that's gonna be a fond memory. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Are you going to sleep, really? Night. No, come on. And he's still awake. Jeez, I want to save people. I want to save. Oh, he checked on her, okay. I don't like the closet. <laughs> Don't do stuff like that when I try to say I don't like the closet because I know the boogeyman makes waste from the dream fairy world through closets. Somebody put a stop to that asshole's calls. So don't breath. Just, I don't know, turn blue and shut up. <laughs> oh my god. And let me save guys. Dudes. Where's my phone? Did someone slip a message under the door? I don't know if you can see that on YouTube because YouTube tends to darken things a little bit. But guys <laughs> that's it for this episode thank you so much for watching leave a like subscribe to my channel if you already subscribed click on the notification bell down below so you get notified when i upload my videos share us on twitter and facebook and guys we'll see you in the future or back in hell have fun
so come with me, letter buddy.